Hi folks, Jeff Rudd here. 15th of September 2022. The news that Taoiseach Michal Martin wants to see Bertie Hearn possibly back into the ranks of Fianna Fáil will shock many. Bertie Hearn, as some of us know, was involved in some very questionable financial uh, dodgy dealings. And this was uncovered uh, by various people, not including also a tribunal that found the same result. Now, any modern party that wants to see itself as, or make itself out to be different from what's gone before, should not be inviting back vestiges of the past, especially a dodgy past, regardless of any experience or knowledge they have uh, elsewhere. Ireland has a long history of corruption. That's not just my opinion, it's the opinion of the following. Matt Cooper, who really runs Ireland, go by it, describes a lot of very dodgy things. At one. Frank Connolly, Nama Land. Go read it. Very interesting, very eye opening. Corruption, corruption, corruption. Anglo Republic, Simon Coswell. Go buy it. Well worth reading. How the banks are screwing you and what you can do about it. Marcus McKeown. More corruption. This great little nation, Gene Kerrigan, Pat Brennan. More corruption. Inside the room, the unstunned, untold story of Ireland's crisis government, Eamon Gilmore. Very interesting read, very eye-opening. Describes many things that RTE will not report. Matt Cooper, how Ireland really went bust. It's a shocker, lots of details, RTE and other biased media won't tell you. And finally I come to two items that a friend of mine wrote in great detail. Stephen Manning. SOS Saving Our State, a wall-to-wall -wall manuscript of utter corruption and how people can actually deal with it also. He also wrote a smaller version of that describing DIY justice in Ireland because our current court system is corrupt as hell. Long story short between those books and more that I have here on the bookshelf surrounding me is shows a long history of political corruption in Ireland. Inviting some of the chancels, the characters, the questionable dodgy people back into any political party is not a step forward in progress for this country. It's definitely not a step forward for any political party. It's utter to stupidity. If Michal Martin wants to sink Fianna Fáil even further, go ahead, invite him, back, invite him back in. I welcome it. Because at the current low polling rates that they are at, they will sink even further. Happy days. Bring them back in and just change the name of the party to the Titanic because it's going to hit rocks sooner or later. Welcome back Bertie. May you go down well with the party. Bye bye.